And the difference is Fierro is landing the right hook. That's made for Steve Farro. Utilize the boxing skill, but the pressure on oh. Fierro. Luis the Twist Nunez, 22 years of age. He wants to do that when he gets some oh, oh, counter. Right That's what I'm talking about. Upstairs by Nunez. And again. On in the round, you saw him. You see uh, Nunez, I mean, uh, yeah. Nunez landing those counter right hands like that one. It was uh, Fierro initiating the action with the jab. Fierro getting in the, the, the right, left. Nunez was excellent, and a straight left when Fierro could get it in. Was and these two hungry up-and-comers, both undefeated at 126 pounds. Is someone who loves to bring the action. He loves to do the twist. And believe it or not, the man, this one promises to be a barn burner. We go undefeated featherweights featured in a special attraction with a hard hitting record of 13 wins, no losses. Fierro. He also is undefeated with a record of 16 wins. Boom, yes. Talk to those guantes, give them hell at the bell. Let's go. Box. The bell and round one. He likes to come out, he's like shot out of a cannon, but you know. Samson Lukowicz was a well-deserved and well-earned reputation. Keep the fight at long range right now. That's what Brazier wants because you. One by second round knockout for the previously undefeated Daniel. Sharp upper body movement defensively and uh, Raul, it's hands to the body. So Nunez better get away from that left hand. He's got him. And he loves to do damage. He and, he's an, and Nunez is the favorite coming into the fight tonight, Raul. Of a classy boxer, a poised, patient style. Fierro in his last fight had. Fierro sticking with the one two from the Southpaw stance. Three punch. Might be a quick finish in this fight because a mistake might be made by a, a long rangey fighter. He likes to attack at times. Excellent variety of punches and the southpaw Fierro. Yeah, he likes to. Combination by Fierro punctuated with the right hook again. A land one that's going to end this fight. The final minute of this first round, Nunez tag Fierro. Nunez a buffet of left hands, straight left hands. Hell bent on bringing the, the hell fire. He said he's working as expected and as advertised. Plenty of action. The counter right hand, he's got to use that as Fierro's coming in. Combination punching. We haven't seen that yet from him, but he's a good combination. The bell in round two. Well, at the press conference, he said, well, I'm proud that we have good baseball. Oh, to put the pedal to the metal. And it, you know, this is the third lefty that Nunez has faced. Result of an accidental headbutt, and again, needs... Yeah, I think Nunez is best for him to stay from the outside, keep up a lot. So he, he's there to be oh. countered by Nunez like he Lee just did. Lee Republic yes. known for baseball, not boxing. Definitely a lot of great baseball players and some great boxers. You see it in his uh, trunks. Surdo wow. means and, lefty. And making him apart. Keep him at the end of his shots. Three, four, but now by yes. Fierro. You know, we, Fierro's not known as a... Body. He may have been punched in the back of the head and Fierro... Nunez looking to reset. Utilize that pull. Continues to make the investment to the body, going to the body. Rounds for it to become official. And that usually happens when you fight... When you Behoove Fierro's game plan. But he's shown a very good right hook in this fight. Counter right left. He lunges every time. There he goes. Every time he lunges with a left hand. Watch Fierro on top of that when El Surdo swings. Keep painting when you start going in. And be a little more concentrated. And here it is. It creates the cut over the... Nunez just 20. And for Fierro who is... Well, Man. <laughs> and so he's in territory where he hasn't been lately. Well, the feet getting tangled up. Yeah, they're fighting over foot position. Wild and his uh, punches are a lot more shorter and precise and more than him. Nunez trying to do just that. Part with Richard Comey, former lightweight champion, one of Andre Rozier's the amateur bouts. Yeah, how about that? He's just and idolized Manny Pacquiao and just put together that third round much. Feet, and of course with the feet. outside too, but I think it's uh, Nunez the one that's winning that. He was able to catch him with that because you saw Fierro keeps lunging with that left. According to this, very, very close in terms of the number landed. 
Oh, and Nunez trying to keep the jab. Pod, you have to look for the clashing of heads. Nice. Pole Caro fainting. Goes to the body with the... He's going to get caught by Nunez. He's faster and more explosive with his shots. Lead foot of a Zurdo needs to be on the outside. And then, of course, Nunez was output. Going down. Oh, nice. 10 at 126 pounds. You're trying too hard. You're trying too hard. Composed. Nunez is. Nice frame defense. Nice counter. As we begin the fourth round. The people that he's beaten had losing records and uh... There's another counter. Left hook upstairs. Uh, Raul that Fierro lunges, puts himself off balance. Because he's not doing anything to adjust. Look, one, two. He, he has the pressure of Fierro. For Nunez. He wants that punch battle. Oh, and that right uppercut. 12, uh, they'd come in off a knockout, the people he beat. So now with his jab, he's dissecting him with the jab. You saw he. How he, but, uh, stop. Fierro is starting to slow down his stand, try to land the left hand, and don't lunge with it either. There's a, there's a try at the counter right hand, and that was previous fight. And remember, that was a body shot by Billy and Depp. There's a nice count over hand. I believe that the more the rounds go, Fierro's gonna get frustrated. The sweet science beginning to That's build momentum left in the fourth. Fierro is defeated. And speaking of statement made on the fire. The yeah. stick fire for sure. Oh, fire yeah. fire. Backwards, he's done. Because he only knows one way. That's coming forward. Nunez backing up. The pressure yeah. fighter, Fierro, in the corner. The toughest test of their respective careers and an opportunity here. Stand out, he's fast. But there's a counterattack from Nunez. Right That's left hook upstairs about. by Nunez. And, and again. there's a right by... Both fighters showing incredible. As we are at round number five, scheduled for 10. Yes, 16 wins have come by way of KO or technical knockout to deliver. And there, Fierro delivers a nice cut. And the fire fight breaks out here in the fifth. This fights, and we talked about Fierro overcoming the first to happen. He needs to be coming forward to be effective. Come inside the distance, but again, both facing. One, two by Fierro, but he's got to watch. He's got to be fast and explosive. And he is. And the difference is Fierro is landing the right hook. That's made. That has never been down in 16 previous. Looking at this type of stylistic matchup and matchup. Nunez's, Nunez's counter right hand. Oh, there's a. I want you to box. As he gets hit with the uh, the body shot, but then he counter land that counter right hook. The Hall of Famer Steve Farr. Well, oh, we have a about each other and themselves second by second. Utilize the boxing skill, but the pressure on oh. Fierro, and he just hammered when Fierro throws that lazy one-two. Watch that right hand come over. Fierro has a left-handed guy. Oh, oh counter. He keeps his... And Nunez, who Nunez with plenty of more professional rounds of victory. Three and four went to Nunez, and raise your hand if you saw Fierro's rally coming in. Boxing ability would be the difference in this fight, so he wants to see that oh. from him. Yes. I really believe Nunez is trying to land that counter. Little fighter IQ, utilize that pull, counter right a lot. I think we all believe because he hasn't fought long in fight. Mm. He said... Nunez, and the second half's going to decide this fight. Fierro keeps coming forward, but... Definitely got shook momentarily by right into Nunez's right hand, power hand. California. All right, Jim Lemieux, former 100. Right between Luis the Twist Nunez, 22 years of age. I think had Fierro a little bit hurt early in the fight. Oh, I think the trick is to get back to where he was in round five. Things as much as a Randy Rainbow uh, knowledge. Oh, my lawyers will be in touch. Left hand, Fierro. Very lucky not to get countered effectively by Nunez. At the left hook, he wants to do that when he gets him. Oh, oh, counter. Dude, he is getting his birthday bumps early from. <laughs> Nunez. <laughs> I feel like Nunez needs to start sitting down more on his shot. Out of range. Oh, you heard me about the jab. Oh, yes, wow. I made a oh, wow. rainbow reference in a boxing match. And again, Fierro so making the oh. investment. Oh, sharp jab. The more eye-catching shot. 
And he went to work his way in, faint a little bit, and then throw those power punches. <laughs> I'm trying to, to work off the moral Ronaldo. This has been much more controlled and controlled the pace oh, of this fight. A... This guy working with the left. Come on, why don't you get him with the left? To beat a, a, a left hander, Nunez is throwing a straight right hand. A round number like his coach, Andrew Rozier, wants him to do. It's all and about important to note here as we head into round 10. Around eight has been still as of today. 18 years old, Nunez. So Fierro's in territory he's not used to, but Nunez is used But the counterattack of Nunez. The trainer of Fierro was talking about the left hand. And the pace though slowing down in terms of total punches. Throwing technique out the window in terms of his attack. Still very much learning. <laughs> uh, undefeated, I mean, they are both test effective even though that left hook bounced off the right shoulder of fear and you look at the power punches everything other than the jab and he Fierro is gasping for air he's got his mouth open now oh and he's a scoring blow there's a and then jumping in here against the big puncher in Fierro as Nunez up by three points and there's a none of them have been cut on the eyebrow, you know, the, I mean... Box. Mm -hmm. All he has, all he has is a lucky shot. Nunez and Jonathan yeah. Fierro get set to... And Raul, talk about an adjustment that you would like to see Fierro try to... Uh, Nunez, he's in his zone. He's very focused. He keeps boxing him. Now Fierro... Things there, and that has been very effective for Nunez. Third fight he won by uh, KO in the 10th round. Opening contest here. Look what happened. He needs a lot of feints, a lot of head movement, a lot of... Yes, but Fierro landing that nice left of his own. For eight rounds, he's never seen this ninth round. There's another right hand to the... <laughs> Fierro keeps lunging in with his left hand and with his head. ...make in order to solve the counterattack of Nunez. Through the belt line, Fierro thought it was a little lower. Step back. <laughs> Mentioned ad nauseum the effective counter right hand aspect of tanks. They're gonna try to let it all go in the tank. Come on, he's okay. leaving himself he open. Take care of it, take advantage of it. And keep your left hand up. Nunez trainer Andre Rozier wants him to continue to box. Resort to pot shotting, so I definitely agree with the Royals. Keep the fight at mid long range in this last round. He didn't take any risks. Nunez unofficially ahead by five <laughs> points. <laughs> Fierro's taking those punches. Yeah, he's shown a very durable power. You know, if you get the right leverage, more power to his left hand. Undefeated Luis Nunez, the, the pressure. Down and right to the bright hook that we talked about earlier, because he told him the key minutes of the fight. Yeah, I mean, I, I just think that, uh, yeah. but uh, Nunez has been more accurate, and he is at chin. Lunging again, go forward with that left yep. of the... He would be more successful. Yeah, he's got his five-fight KOs. What will the judges... Jonathan Fierro, the counterattack of Nunez. And... Featherweights. And the first fight, uh, and Willie Royal, the man who worked with... It started out with both men landing big shots. It's appropriate. As this fight wore on, all three judges scored about 96 to 94. Nunez! 17 and 0, hanging the first L. For Nunez, I mean, we saw him twice on, on Showbox. He developed it.